Yeah, in this video, we will learn how to analyze and interpret two-way ANOVA. Very, very important tool in statistics, in inferential statistics. And our data is ready. We can go on and analyze. So before that, we have to formulate hypothesis for this. We have selected this problem for analyze. And for this, we have to formulate hypothesis. Look at here, we, I have formulated hypothesis, null hypothesis as the h h1 uh, there is there is no significant difference between mean effects of diets okay there is no significant difference between mean effects of diets average of these diets there is no dif significant difference this is my first uh, null hypothesis and one more there is no significant difference between mean effects of different blocks okay here there are blocks you know we will calculate mean of each blocks and i am uh, assuming that there is no significant difference between mean effect of blocks and there is no significant difference between mean effects of treatment which means we have to set a uh, calculate mean for e treatment and mean for blocks and in that mean we will see the difference okay so which means the alternative hypothesis would be there is a significant difference between mean effects of diet so we uh, alternative hypothesis is opposite to null hypothesis it is saying there is a ultra there is a significant difference okay so second alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference between mean effects of different blocks so there is a different blocks and uh, an alternative hypothesis is saying there is a significant difference okay if it accept in the permissible uh, statistics uh, by in the significance level we will conclude which will accept or reject we will uh, conclude that at the end now if you want to calculate a two-way ANOVA click on analyze go to general linear model in general linear model click on univariate very carefully look into this so this is a dependent variable this is a fixed factor fixed factor means that uh, independent variable so for dependent variable i'm considering growth rate of mice because which is in scale okay also dependent variable in this example and for fixed factor i'm considering treatment type and blocks level after this without forget go to the model very importantly go to the model by default it is in full factorial click on custom and transfer this treatments and blocks to the model you have to define the model very very importantly if you prefer for intercept it will uh, appear in the output so i am not going to prefer for intercept click ok after that you can go to the post hoc where you can also see the multiple comparison for absorbed means so i want to see the multiple comparison of treatment i will select this so multiple comparison by tucky okay give continue so if you want descriptive statistics go to the option and prefer for descriptive statistics okay now click ok now your output is ready okay look at here so you can see here in the output uh, uh, treatment type 1 2 3 4 treatment in the treatment a there are uh, yeah, 3n and b 3n c 3n d n 3n this is uh, rightly uh, we have entered in the data entry so in the block the one also 4 block 2 4 block 3 Four. and look at here we preferred for uh, descriptive statistics in the treatment a block to treatment a block to mean uh, treatment a to block to uh, block one block two block three a uh, mean and standard deviation and number of in the, the rest uh, descriptive statistics as per your wish okay very importantly now we have to look into the this uh, ANOVA table okay so the treatments and blocks within treatment and within blocks so the sum of square of treatment is 113.667 let us compare the this with the book material between treatment or diet is 100 sum of square is 113.667 you can cross check it out 
okay 100 and between blocks 15.167 between blocks 15.167 and uh, sum of square due to errors sum of square due to error is 2.833 so total sum of square is 1140 and you can also see the degree of freedom now let us uh, see in the mean sum of square mean sum of do not consider this model so because we preferred for model we define the model that's why it's appearing here consider on the independent variable independent variable in this case is treatments and blocks so here dependent variable is growth rate on mice growth rate on mice to treatments and blocks the data we have to consider so the mean sum of square of treatment is 37.889 so mean sum of square of treatment is 37889 mean sum of square of blocks is 7.58 so 7.58 mean sum of square of error is 0.47 0.4722 now we have to look into the f test okay f test for between treatment is 80.23 f test for between block is 160.596 so 80 and 16 there is a missed dot here actually it is 16 16.0596 so 16.0596 now we have to take decision if you want to take decision in book material you want to calculate tabulated value with calculated value calculated value is f, f value and tabulated value uh, there is a separate tabulated value for ANOVA okay but here in the ANOVA table we will con take consider on SIC so which means significance level the for calculating this we consider significance level as 0.05 in, in, in this if they anything more than 0.05 will be accepted anything less than 0.05 will be rejected okay look at here significance level of between treatment is 0.000 so which means 0. it is lesser than 0.05 which means the mean sum of uh, where the first uh, null hypothesis there is a significant difference between mean effect of diets is not going to accept so which means there is a significant difference between mean effect of diet okay let us look into the second uh, about blocks so it is also lesser than 0 0.05 which means this is also going to reject okay so which means there is no significant difference between mean effects of different blocks we are going to reject this null hypothesis where it means the alternative hypothesis is going to accept which means there is a significant difference between mean effects of different blocks look at here how they have taken decision since tabulated value f1 uh, greater than uh, sorry since uh, calculated value f1 is greater than tabulated value so we reject on the hypothesis also in this also in second case also the result hypothesis is rejected so the same thing same procedure we have considered here okay this is how you will interpret and how you will take decision using two-way ANOVA so while we are calculating two-way ANOVA you preferred for Turkey post hoc test so which mean mean uh, difference uh, multiple comparison with mean uh, mean difference okay look at your concentrate on significance level again there is there are no value greater than 0 0.05 because this uh, two hypothesis also rejected so this is how you will calculate uh, two-way ANOVA uh, analyze and interpret two-way ANOVA in a SPSS software Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel for further more updates and statistics.